I'm Allison Singer with the Autism Science Foundation, and we're here now with Jessica Bradshaw. She's the recipient of a pre-doctoral fellowship from the Autism Science Foundation. She's working with Dr. Robert Cagle at the University of California at Santa Barbara. Thanks so much for joining us. Of course. Thank you for having me. So your project is one that we are particularly excited about. It looks at testing pivotal response training in nine-month-old infants. Yeah who are at risk or who have been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. Sure. How do you use pivotal response training with a nine month old baby? Right, so um, PRT is I think really exceptional for infants. I think it would be the perfect intervention that we, um, that we incorporate for infants as young as nine months old. Um, and what PRT is really based on is increasing motivation and that's really kind of the foundation that um, that Dr. Cagle has created PRT from. So um, it's a naturalistic intervention, so it's just playing. You're just playing with your child, which is um, so, so important. Um, we use a lot of child choice, so following the lead of, of the child or the infant in this case. And I really don't think you could do it any other way. I don't think you can make an infant do what they, something that they don't want to do. Um, so that that is that is key in this intervention. Um, parent education is another huge part of the intervention, so the parents are involved and going to be involved in every single session um, that we do. So how do we do PRT with infants? Um, so we're, we're taking infants that are that have not a lot of social engagement or social interaction, um, and what we're, what we're going to be doing is taking those little windows of opportunity, so that little moment of eye contact, and really boosting that and giving them a lot of encouragement, a lot of positive affect, and a lot of reinforcement until the next time they make eye contact, and then we'll do it again. And we just, um, I, I was playing with an infant the other day, and she raised her hand and looked at us, and it was really exciting to her. So we raised our hand and looked at her too, and, and it became this whole social routine of us raising our hands together and, and making these sounds. So um, the really increasing social interaction through those very tiny moments that we have. I think this is so important because as we're able to diagnose children earlier and earlier, it's really critical that we not tell parents, well, we think your child is going to be diagnosed with autism or is diagnosed with autism, but unfortunately we have no treatment options until they're two or three. Absolutely. So um, PRT really um, offers a lot of hope. Maybe talk about how PRT, pivotal response training, is different than discrete trial training and why it's more appropriate mm -hmm. for an infant. Mm -hmm. Sure, so as I said, it's a naturalistic intervention where we do a lot of play. So we're not sitting in a table across from each other asking them to label colors or to make eye contact or whatever it is. We're really, um, we're really just playing with them. Um, it's, it's a naturalistic intervention which causes a lot of generalizability, so it's going to generalize across all different settings, not just sitting at a chair at a table. Um, we reinforce attempts, so um, the child doesn't have to give you direct eye contact, maybe it's just a little glimpse of you, and, and we're going to reinforce that right away. Um, so reinforcing those attempts is, is really important, um, and a difference from discrete trial training. Um, it also increases spontaneity, um, so having it in, in various settings and using reinforcing of attempts and interspersal of maintenance and acquisition tasks also. So what that is, is a, we take a child who already knows how to do one skill but is working on one, we really make sure that we're still reinforcing them for that maintenance skill that they already know how to do, and that really decreases frustration and increases motivation to want to interact with you and, and learn the different skills that we're working on. And you already have some pilot data, which in fact this study is an expansion of the initial study that you did. What does the pilot data look like? Right, so we did um, PRT with some quite young infants who weren't showing a lot of eye contact, who weren't responding to their name, um, and using those methods that I kind of previously talked about, we were actually showing increases in positive affect and in interacting with their parents, and increases in eye contact, and increases in um, response to name. So I think that, and, and very clear increases. Um, which is just really, really neat, and we're continuing to do follow-up data to make sure that those skills have been maintained. So we do have some data showing that PRT can really make a positive impact in these children's lives. Well, we are really looking forward to seeing the expanded data. Um, but we are here at the International Meeting for Autism Research. Uh, what has been the most rewarding part of being at MFART for you? Right. Um, 
So I was thinking about this and, and actually having an interdisciplinary um, view of IMFART I think is, is, is so important. So we have people not even from the autism field, we have keynotes addressed from um, developmental psychologists and we have statisticians and computer scientists and all these different people coming together and I think that um, that having all of these different perspectives is is so important and um, adding a lot of a lot of um, information and intellectual curiosity that, that we might not come up with ourselves. So um, I think taking a developmental viewpoint on on autism, which is what one of the keynotes uh, yesterday morning was, um, is is so important in looking at. Um, she talked a lot about domain uh, domain general skills and domain specific skills and domain relevance, and so. Um, when you're doing intervention with a child, not just taking one behavior like eye contact and, and working on that, but actually figuring out well, what else is going on, what is causing that lack of, of eye contact, and how can we make these overall changes, which I think PRT really speaks to. Well, we are really excited about your study, and we're really looking forward to seeing your new data. So Thank you. Go back and get back to work. Thank and you. We want to hear from you soon. Thanks Thank for joining you. us today. Thank you so much.